Hey guys, good day here. Okay, this one is not um, martial arts related, it's not family related, it's R rated. So if you're a kid, turn it off. Okay, you shouldn't be watching this, so turn it off now if you're a kid. Anyway, um, I just want to go over a couple of things. I won't, I'm not going to pick a side. Some on some of these things, I have a really strong side, I won't even. You know, pick it right now. I'm not trying to make an argument for either side. Um, and some things I'm, I don't have a side either way. I just It's just weird to me um, how so many people can be so hypocritical and have such a double standard. And this is, this is just a couple of instances or examples of just what I feel are complete double standards. And why is it okay? And why isn't it wrong? And why doesn't anyone like say, this is fucking wrong? I mean, whether you're politically correct or whatever, it's just stupid. It's just plain fucking stupid. So, okay, here's one. Okay. If you're a guy and you sleep with a bunch of women, it's considered a positive. Okay, you're a stud. All right. You're a female and you sleep with a lot of guys. You're a whore, and it's a negative. Why is that? When did that start, and why is that okay? Why is it okay for guys to screw hundreds of chicks? I'm not judging on this. And when girls do it, they're just whores. Yeah, okay? So that's one. I mean, that's that's the theme of this whole blog. Okay, and that that's the first one, okay? Um... Why is pot, out of all the drugs and, and, and substances, why is marijuana illegal and alcohol legal? It's like one causes more death, destruction, fights, rapes, car fatalities than anything else in the whole world. Alcohol and marijuana just makes you mellow and it's illegal. Does that boggle anyone else's mind but mine? I mean, illegal marijuana. Nobody's ever going to get in a car accident or a fight or a rape with marijuana. But with alcohol, it's already proven. It's not like just me making it up. I mean, forget the medical parts. I think they're both pretty even there. You know, your lungs for smoking dope and your liver for drinking. But more rapes. I mean, in the 90% of rapes, violent rapes, are alcohol-related. High 90% of all aggravated assaults are alcohol-related. The main percentage of all traffic fatalities, that's traffic deaths, people, are alcohol-related. Not marijuana-related. You don't get into accidents when you're smoking dope, Okay. All of these things are alcohol related, but it's legal. And our, our, our brilliant fucking government has made that legal and okay. Marijuana, on the other hand, which is such a peaceful, hey, I love you, dude. All right, give me an Oreo. That's illegal. Does that, I mean, that, that honestly fucking boggles my mind. Okay? All right, here's another one. Okay? You don't work for whatever reason, whether you don't want to or you can't find a job and, and so you're on welfare, you have full medical insurance. You can go to the fucking doctor, you can go to the ER, you're covered, okay? You have a job, okay? You're paying your rent, you're paying for your kids, you're supporting your family. You don't. You have to pay for your own insurance, and most families, just normal, lower middle class families, just fucking blue collar trying to make it, they can't afford the four or $500 a month for insurance. So we reward our losers in this country and we fucking punish the hardworking ones. I can't figure it out. Okay, If you're a fucking inmate in state prison, okay, you're a felon. You're the lowest of the fucking low, all right? You have full medical attention, 
I mean, you don't have to pay for anything. You don't have to pay for your food. You don't have to pay for, forget that. But you have full medical. You got an ER, you got a fucking surgery, open heart surgery. You can have a liver transplant. You can have your broken arm fixed, okay? If you're out there and you don't have insurance, you just work your ass off, not committing a crime, you're just working, man. You break your arm, you're going to get a bill of about $15,000 that you're responsible for. Then if you don't pay it, they'll take you to court. And then that you'll probably lose everything you have. It's, it boggles my mind, another thing. Does that make any sense to you? Okay. Okay, here's one. It's not a big one, but it's, I mean, it's kind of annoying, you know. Most basketball players are black. And I've never heard white people saying, oh, we don't get to play basketball. It's unfair. It's, it's racist. Most coaches are white. And you know how many times I've heard that that's a racist thing, that most coaches are white? They're not black? Most players are black. I don't, I don't, that one kind of confused me. I don't really care because I think basketball is a stupid ass sport. But, I mean, that's, that's just another thing that, I mean, the coaches are mainly white. The players are mainly black. But why is there no complaint in there? It, that, that, another thing that kind of boggles my mind. Okay? All right, here's another one. You have to wear a seatbelt while you're driving your car for some reason. Okay? Even if you're an adult, the government wants to tell you, we want you to be safe, wear a seatbelt. Okay? And you'll get a ticket and find if you don't. They will punish you. They will take money out of your fucking pocket if you don't wear a seatbelt because they want you to be safe. Okay? But you can ride a fucking motorcycle. And in some states, without even a helmet. Can you imagine? I mean, you get you get in an accident with a motorcycle, you're you are, you know, you're the bumper, okay? But in a car, it could be a big truck. You know, it doesn't matter if you fucking go head on into another car. It's a huge truck. You're not gonna get hurt. But you need to wear the seatbelt, or you're gonna be punished and penalized. But you're okay riding a motorcycle because that's fine. Now take that one step further. If you have a kid, oh my God, they'll probably throw you in prison if you don't strap that kid like with 12 different fucking straps in a car seat that has to be specially made for that age group of kid and that weight. And you strap them in. It takes you like 10 minutes to put it on and 20 minutes to take it off. Okay? And you are going to freaking, they'll probably fry you in prison if you don't put that stupid thing on the kid. Okay? But you can take that same kid Put them in this little fucking, like this little ro rolling cage in the back of your bicycle and ride down on the street with this kid in here. He's not strapped into anything. He's just riding behind you. So he's basically your bumper. So if a car came up and the guy was texting and fucking at 60 miles an hour hit your bike, your kid's going to get killed before you are. Your kid is your bumper and that's legal. But if you're in the huge truck that's completely safe, your kid needs to be in a car seat strapped in like he's fucking NASA going to Mars. Okay? Make sense? Another, I, I can't understand that one. Okay? Here's one. Doesn't really bother me. I don't give this one too much thought. You can say Oriental Market if you want to buy some fucking soy sauce. You can say Oriental Rug. Okay? But then if you see, you know, Tommy Wong, you can't say there's an oriental guy. <laughs> Why is that? Who said that's not okay? Okay, who said you can say oriental market and oriental rug, but you can't say oriental guy? Do you, okay, I, I, I don't understand that one either. So, I mean, I'm, I'm just... So, another one. Another uh, one I don't really understand. Why are military men who are fighting for your country okay, paid about one-third of a teacher that works in, say, an elementary school? Okay? One person is defending our country, protecting, protecting our shores, and probably the most important job in the world. And then the teacher, who's teaching our kids, that's very important too. But if you look at, if you look at the hierarchy of it, okay, 
there'd be no kids if we weren't being defended. We, there'd be no Americans. So the mo it's more important to be safe and alive. And then it then comes educated, right? I mean, because you can't be educated if you're dead, right? <laughs> okay, but you can be alive and not educated. Of course, you'd rather be alive and educated, but the alive trumps educated. Am I wrong? I mean, I'm not that smart, but I mean, in the hierarchy of things, it's more important to defend our shores than it is to, de to teach our children. Yet teachers probably make three to four times more than an army or navy or someone in the military. Does that one make any sense to you? Hmm, think about that one too, okay? So, I, g I gave you a couple to think about, um, and we'll, we'll, we'll go back to this one in my next blog if you want. Why don't you tell me some of your weird um, double standards or some of your weird dichotomies that make no sense or contradictions or hypocrites or, you know, whatever, okay? So, write them down as comments, or if you want... You can tweet me at pit underscore master. Okay? All right. Thanks for coming. Th thanks for stopping by. I will see you later.